are you people ever going to evolve into grown-ups if you can't handle a simple hike in the woods? Come on, let's go! What's your problem, Stoke? I can't go any further. Can't? Did I hear you say can't? Yeah. Yes, sir! Yes, sir, I can't. You don't know what you can and can't do. That's why your parents sent you here, so I could teach you. Now, I will tell you when you can't go any further because you're not equipped to make that judgment. Do you understand? Yes, sir. I can't hear you! Yes, sir! Good. Well, what do you say, Mr. Brickman? These low lives merit a break? No. But we'll give him one anyway. <laughs> Be grateful to Mr. Brickman, people. He's much kinder than I am. Five minutes. Five minutes! <sighs> Thanks, buddy. It was perfect. I'm out of here. Why can't you wait till next week? I'm not taking another minute of O'Hanion's crap. Take me with you, Scott. Uh-uh. I'll see you on the outside. Hey, man, take my canteen. It's full. Thanks, Tucker. You take care of Diane? <laughs> Count on it. OK. See you guys back in the world. Back to business. Well, where's Scott? I ask a question, I want an answer. Where is he? Hey, I saw the contract my parents signed. It said no physical abuse. Well, let me clue you in, Sonny. Your parents have spent a lot of money trying to get you shaped up. When I send you back to them, housebroken, they're not going to ask how often I had to spank you. Now, where is he? He's gone. And you'll never catch him. He can't get out of here. I told you all, you can't get out of here. you people who've been here for a while to welcome your new neighbors. Now, you can save them a lot of grief by letting them know this isn't a summer camp and I'm not your social coordinator. I am also not your friend, your shrink, or your health club instructor. 
Now, we're all here for one reason and one reason only. Because you kids failed out there. And we're going to correct that. We're going to teach you the meaning of discipline and respect. And we're going to drill that lesson into you for as long as it takes. Until you've earned the right to return home. Guess your parents let their little boy pack his own bag, right? Buzz off. Kyle Brickman, meet Doug McQuaid. Uh, Doug's had some real life experience that uh, I think these kids would benefit from. They call me Brick. Now, Ranger, 73. Joliet, B&E, 84. Is he coming or going? He's new. Punk thought he could uh, walk in here with cigarettes. Don't you know that smoking is bad for your health? Yeah, it says so right on the side. Would you care for a pack? You and me are going to have a lot of fun. The only thing you're going to see smoking is the soles of your boots when I run your tail off. Do your worst, dough boy. Mind if I start now? No time like the present. OK, move it, monkey, move it, move it, monkey. Come on, get on it, get on it, get on it. Move, 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 move. Move! What do you think of what handy? What do I think? I think that he, he could give Freddy Krueger nightmares. And the other guy, Brickman, I think he bites the heads off of live chickens. That's good. You're supposed to act intimidating. Right, like I'm really acting. And what's with you? The soles of your boots are going to be smoking. You sound like Lurch. I got to impress the boss. Well, why don't you rip my arms off? That would impress him. Oh, come on. He's not that bad. Oh, no? The local police tagged the Arbor Gas death as an accident. But the state's got enough questions to send us in here. To observe. Well, Hanyan's not guilty of anything. Maybe not, but he hasn't been brought up on four child abuse charges because he spikes the bug juice. I'm just saying he's innocent until proven guilty. Guy starts a private program a thousand kids go through, 80% come out rehabilitated. Except one dies. Maybe we should get out of here. Uh, give me 50. I didn't bring any money. Not bucks, push-ups. Come on. Boom! Come on, man! You gotta be kidding. Keep going now. Come on, they're looking. Down there, come on, they're looking. This is stupid. All right. Hurry up. One, two, three. Did you ever wonder why it is I'm doing the push-ups and you're doing the counting? Why? You're the counselor and I'm the camper. Did you ever wonder that? No. Take a wild guess. I don't know, because uh, I'm... Bigger than you? That's a stupid answer. It's a good answer. Survey said, ding! 53, number one answer. Now give me those 50 push ups. Four, five, six, seven. Let's stay together, children. This is not a picnic. Come on, keep it up. Move, move. They told me to take this bunk. You my guest? Name's Tucker. Joey Deakins. Hey, let me help you with this. What are you in for? Last year or so, my parents have been really getting on my case. Finally started hassling them back. House turned into kind of a war zone. I guess this is their way of getting a truce. What are you doing? Making the bed? This is Scott's bed. They told me I could take this bunk. Stay the hell off that bit! Okay, kids, come on. Let's break it up now. Stow! Can't you go for a minute without getting in trouble? What's the problem here? No problem I can't handle. Still give me 50. Now! Now, you, Deacons. Being new here doesn't give you license to act stupidly. From now on, everything you say to me, better end in sir, and don't speak unless you're spoken to. Got it? Yes, sir. Sir? Drop and give me 50. 
And maybe you'll be smarter than Stowe here. Learn your lesson the first time. The thing of it is, Scott was never bad. Just headstrong, sometimes rash. I'm embarrassed to say he came by those traits quite honestly. Mr. Arbogast, you two have been divorced for five years, right? Yes. Rosalie got the house, and we agreed to share custody of Scott. Uh, did he have any problems with the divorce at all? No, he handled it as well as can be expected. Considering it came just as he started his teens. But you still felt the need to send him to survival search? Well, he was staying with me for the last few months. Uh, he was supposed to be staying with his father. I'd had some business emergencies. They took me out of the country. We agreed, Rosalie and I, I'd keep Scott for a longer time when I got back to make up for the time I'd lost with him. Maybe he resented Edward leaving. Scott and I just seemed to be fighting all the time. I didn't like the hours he was keeping. Uh, when I mentioned it, he said his father allowed him to keep any hours he wanted. I trusted him. I didn't need to know where he was every minute. Mr. Arbogast, we realize this is a very difficult time for you. What I did need to know was that she was sending him off to be murdered in some high-priced concentration camp. You weren't here. You don't know how difficult he was becoming. Mr. Arbogast, do you have any knowledge that your son's death was anything but an accident? No, but you two wouldn't be here if you didn't suspect something. We've been asked to make an investigation. And we'll appreciate any help you can give us, especially if you can find something specific. If I find something that proves Ohanian killed my boy, I'll make sure he never hurts anyone again. paying attention when I demonstrated how to build a wall? Yes. I don't think so. What are you staring at? That wall looked pretty good to me, sir. Did somebody make you an architect when I wasn't looking? You can help him rebuild it. Looks like you'll have to work through dinner to get it done. Thanks for trying to help. Forget it. McQuaid, sir. What'd you think of this afternoon? Didn't think I was being paid for my opinions. <laughs> You're not. But give it to me anyway. Well, these kids. Well, none of them are here because they won awards and citizenship. The thing is, how do you know how far to push them? Experience. There's no substitute for it. You got any kids? You read my record. My wife divorced me when I was in Joliet. Oh, my boy was a decorated Marine. Everybody always told me how lucky I was, how well he turned out. Well, luck had nothing to do with it. It was the same methods that I'm using here. Not all kids are the same. Close enough. Wait till the day comes when these kids are shaped up and I get to hand them back over to their parents. You have never seen anything like it. It's a beautiful thing to behold. I bet it is. Welcome aboard, McQuaid. Okay, just leave me alone. Hey, 
Jeff, adjust the flag on the 1K. Is that all right? So just because this guy mouths off about getting O'Haney and we have to come watch his interview? He says it once he's mouthing off, but if he repeats it, maybe we should take him seriously. Well, why don't we just go home and watch it on the tube? Because, McCann, interviews get edited. All right. All right, everyone quiet. I need that. And action. How did you feel when you learned your son had been sent to survival search? I felt... betrayed. And did you ever get to talk to him again? No. Mr. Arbogast, had Scott ever been arrested? What? Is it true Scott had been brought up on misdemeanor charges? Charges that you had taken off the books? It most certainly is not true. Our sources say it is true. My son is dead. And I don't intend to put up with this for another minute. Uh, Mr. Arbogast... I have nothing to say to you people. Please, direct any questions to my attorney. A little overreactive, wouldn't you say? Yes, I would. Come on, let's go. Get over here! Now! Joey, right? Right. You look like you know what you're doing. Don't believe everything you see. I'm Diane. This place seems to be agreeing with you. I don't believe everything you see. Oh, Haney, and on your back, too? Not really. I did just enough to make sure he thinks I'm shaping up. Do you think I need shaping up? No, I, I think you look just fine. Glad to hear it. How much longer do you have to do? Another three weeks. Would have been less if I could have talked Scott into taking me with him. Scott? Is it the kid who got killed? He hated it from the day he got here. He kept talking about he was going to get out. Who else knew? All of us. Jeremy helped them do it. They were really close. Hey, Deacons! Just a minute, okay? I mean now. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. That girl looked pretty healthy back there. Serious hormonal imbalance. I mean serious. Did you get any information? I was till I get interrupted by some dimwit. I gotta grab you whenever I can. This is where Scott died. Does that look right, team? How do I know? What, am I a rope expert? Well, Hanion said all the kids knew this bridge was off limits. Scott wasn't thinking about being off limits. He was trying to escape. Maybe. According to Diane, he had been pushed to the breaking point. What is she, a part-time shrink? Come on, Doug, you seen what O'Hanian's doing to that still kid? He's having nightmares. Like the man said, this ain't no summer camp. Yeah, but how far do we let him push these kids? Having nightmares is a far cry from just breaking wide open. You hope. Yeah, I hope. Optional stove. Move over here. Bring that over here. You know what a mixed cement? I'm not going to do it. All of a sudden, you're going to tell me what you won't do? As if a lousy sign is going to make everything all right. After what happened to Scott. Don't worry, Jeremy. I'll help you out. I'm not doing it. So, you're going to mix that cement, you're going to put it in those tires, and you're going to make me a couple of signposts. Now, you can complain. That's your privilege. But you're going to do it. What's the point? It's not as if anybody can get out of here anyway. Brickman. around our way of thinking sooner or later. Deacons. 
Mr. Brickman's got a job for you. Nice looking girl. You two been going out a long time? She's my sister. You got any brothers? Nope. Just her. Her, my mom, and my whole family. What about you? I, I got a brother. That's it. You close? Getting there. What got you in in this place, anyway? I gotta get some sleep. You do this a lot? Define a lot. Well, once every couple of groups. Kind of a last resort, isn't it? No, not even close. There's nothing too rigorous about Stowe being out there. Oh, you lose a night's sleep. Not the worst thing that can happen to a youngster. Call it my version of solitary confinement. I knew a lot of guys who were sent to the hole. Didn't always do them a lot of good. Oh, he'll be all right. Besides, I check on him once an hour. Best thing for a man, be alone with his thoughts. Or the worst. Who's there? It's Joey. You all right, man? Can you breathe? Yeah, I can breathe. Good. Keep your head down so they can't see us talking. I'm scared. I know, but I'm here with you now, okay? I'll be here till sunrise. Tell me about your family. What's your sister's name? Peggy. Peggy? You too close? It's just her and me. Your mom? She smiles a lot. <laughs> She's good at that. And what about your dad? Oh, who knows? He sends a postcard once a year. Kind of a all-in-one birthday, Christmas, Easter card. He's a real prince. Feels the same way about kids as Ohanian does. At least dad left us alone. Yeah, but your mom must care, otherwise she wouldn't have spent all this money to send you here. Yeah, I guess she cares. You gonna stay here all night? Yeah. Thank you.
don't know what Edward's trying to protect anymore. When Scott was alive, at the time, it made sense to call the judge. Uh, anyone would have done that for their child if they could. And that was how soon after the incident? Oh, Edward made the call from the station right after the girl made her statement. He didn't hurt her. He didn't hurt anyone. Is that what the girl said? Oh, her story matched my son's exactly, Scott. Shoplifted a few items from the convenience store and then talked the girl into going with him while he stole the car. For a joyride. Well, it's not as though she was a hostage or anything. She was just shaken up from being stopped by the police, that's all. And that's when you decided to send Scott to survival search, right? Yes. Did he agree? <laughs> no, not at all. He laughed in my face when I suggested it. Said he couldn't wait to tell his father what I tried to do. And how did he? For a, an additional fee. Survival search will send people to take your child away, whether he wants to go or not. I sat in this very room one morning when they pulled Scott out of the house. He wasn't laughing anymore. He always seemed so strong. I never thought he'd try and run. Mrs. Arbogast, you were trying to do what was best for Scott. Oh, no, no, you don't understand. The time he spent at survival search was the time he was supposed to be with his father. I wasn't doing it for Scott's good. I was doing it to punish Edward. Now my son's dead. Well, you know, Wilson's been doing a pretty good job. Hi, honey, how you doing? Ooh, Dougie. They're turning me on, baby. What's going on around there? Listen, Doug, Scott Arbogast was arrested for joyriding, shoplifting, and endangering a minor three months ago. There's no priors, no one hurt. That judge who was in tight with his father uh, wiped the slate clean and returned for a stiff fine and full restitution, so... What minor? The uh, thing are we talking about? A girl by the name of Carrera. Margaret Carrera. Apparently, she was in a convenience store hanging out and then went off with Scott when he stole a car. Now, witnesses say she went voluntarily looking for a good time. Oh, oh, oh that's, uh, that's really great. Yeah, we've been having a lot of fun up here, too. Can you nail Ohanian on the abuse charges? Uh, no, I don't think I can do that. Come on, McQuaid. Your three minutes is up. There's one more thing. Uh, as a kid up here, uh, Jeremy Stowe was kind of freaked out about Abergast's death. I think there might be a connection. Oh, stop it. Come on, cut it out. You know how that makes me nuts. No, I'm not going to say it. Look, you say it, and then I'll say it. All right. Yeah, I love you, too. All right. Bye-bye. I think he likes me. There's uh, better ways of working up a sweat, you know. Yeah. Like laying by the pool with a beer in my hand. That isn't what I mean. Oh. So how about it? It's what makes the great outdoors great. Diane, is it a must? I mean, do you have to come on to every guy you see? Now you're starting to sound like Ohanian. He's always telling me to find some value inside myself. Well, I have. And I plan on sharing it every chance I get. Do you think that's going to make people like you? Why not? Works for my mom. She's always got some guy around. Any of those guys special? I don't know. Ask her sometime. Was Scott special? He might have been. Look, it doesn't matter. He left. They all leave. Th 
Diane. Ohanian's right. How about you finding something? Because it's there. Did you have a good night? I got through it. Good. That's a step in the right direction. Did you get any thinking done? Yes, sir. You gonna get with the program? I've been trying. Well, you're gonna have to try harder. Have you got it in you to try harder? I don't know. Well, we're gonna find out. I'm making you my pet project from now on. You are gonna get lots of my attention. And when you leave here, you're gonna be the best graduate I ever had. Even if it puts both of us away. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Good. I'll go back to work. About the day's reports. Mr. Ohanian, what happened to your son? What makes you think anything happened to my son? You don't build shrines to people who are still alive. Prison didn't dull your perception, did it? When I came back from Vietnam, I had enough of the military to last me for the rest of my life. I certainly didn't want it for my son. I wanted him to have freedom. I gave him his head. I, I left him alone. Too much alone. I didn't even know that he had started doing drugs. And by the time I found out, he was beyond help. In and out of institutions, and nothing helped. And one day, he overdosed. But before that happened, every once in a while, his mind would clear. And he would tell me that I would be better off without him. I'm not. So this camp is... My atonement. My penance. It could be your deliverance if you let it be. Good night, McQuaid. Good night, sir. Here we go. Oh, thank you. Well, we really appreciate you coming by. Oh, it's no problem. It's right on my way from work. 
Oh, Natural, the beauty shop over on 3rd. Oh, is that place yours? I've driven by there a couple of times. Mind? No, I just work there. I'm the receptionist. I suppose you want to know how Peggy's doing. Peggy? Margaret. Margaret Carrera. Oh, I know, it's confusing. She kept my first husband's name. Anyway, she's, she's doing fine. The social services people say that she is coming out of the depression even though we still don't have any idea why she tried to kill herself. It all started after she went joyriding with that Arbogast boy. But she told me nothing had happened, so why should she have been depressed? Um, Mrs. Stowe, do you have a son named Jeremy? Yes, Peggy's brother, of course. He had a hard time handling what happened to his sister. That's why we thought it would be a good time for him to go on the dig. The dig? It's an archaeological dig in New Mexico. Jeremy's been saving up for years to go on it. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Have you ever heard of an organization called Survival Search? No. Why? McCann, you better get Penhall on the phone right away. He's gone. Any ideas? I'll head for the ridge. You get O'Hanny and meet me up there. trying to pull here, man. Stay the hell back, Deacons. My real name's Penhall. I'm a police officer. I was wondering about that Boy Scout act of yours. You've been on to me all along, haven't you? No, Jeremy. We were here to investigate Ohanian. I was really trying to help you. No help to be had. Not anymore. This is about Peggy, isn't it? You want to know what he did to my sister? You want to know? Yes. He raped Peggy and then told her if she said anything, he'd kill her. So when she got pregnant, she didn't know what to do. So she tried to commit suicide. Then when you discovered he was here, you decided to come in after him? I got in tight with him. Knew he was going to use the bridge to escape. So the night before, I cut the rope. I killed him. Okay. That good enough for you? I killed him. Only problem was, once you did it, you found out you couldn't live with it. That's why you're coming apart, man. All I had to do was put in my time and then walk out of here. But I couldn't do that. So it's gonna save you, man. No. That's what's gonna save me. Down there. Just like Scott. What about your sister? And your mom? They're better off without me. Wrong. My son thought that. He was wrong, too. So why don't you bring him here, run his tail off? Jeremy, I wish I had. So you could show him how to save the world with discipline? No, no to show him somebody cares enough to make you take responsibility for your own actions. That's what I'm going to do. That's just running away from him. Let us help you. Just stay away! Jeremy, don't do this. It's the only way. It's all right, Jeremy. 
Hang on. Hang on. It's all right. It's all right, son. It's gonna be all right. Oh, oh look, mother. There's our boys now. So, Wally, Theodore, you boys learn any new outdoor skills? This place ain't no summer camp. What's happening with Jeremy? He was in psychiatric evaluation when we left him, and when his sister corroborates the story, he might get a lenient sentence. So what's happening up here? Social services making some noise about closing this place down temporarily. I feel the screening process needs to be examined. Maybe so, but it ain't all bad. Not all bad. 